Hello everyone, my name is Kunal Ghosh and welcome to my new course on clock tree synthesis part 2. So in, this is a follow up course for the clock tree synthesis part 1 and pretty much the basics has been covered in the part 1 course and now it will be if, if, if you have gone through that course it will be easy for you to grasp this course very easily. Okay, so let's look into the topics that we are planning to cover in this particular course. So this course will cover the clock tree optimization checklist. So we basically look we looked into the ways to reduce the reduce the clock tree power and all those things. So we'll try to revisit the clock tree optimization checklist and see what what else can we do on it. Okay. Next we'll be looking into an uneven spread of clock endpoints. So till now we have looked into clock endpoints which were very evenly spread. Okay, so building a clock tree was pretty simple. In this case, we'll look into clock endpoints. Those are unevenly spread, and then how to how do we build about a clock tree? Okay, there are there are different techniques to do it, and let's try to look into all those techniques in this particular course. Also, we'll try to look into power aware clock tree synthesis. So, if you want to reduce because clock tree is the is, is a is a network that consumes a lot of power. So, if you try to con, if you try to control or if you try to reduce the reduce the power of the clock tree the overall power of your chip will be reduced so we'll look into techniques in of how to reduce the clock tree that that's basically called as power aware clock tree synthesis and finally we'll be able to do a static timing analysis for a clock network so let's try to look into all this from the next video thank you